for me personally, it was a fair deal, and I still can't believe that happened. Even if I could write a book about it, even if I could write the most crazy story about hockey, I think I, I couldn't even think about that happening to me. Mary Philippe Poulain is a student and hockey player at Boston University. Her fairy tale came to life on the world's biggest stage. Even if you don't remember her, you will remember her goals. In two Olympic gold medal games, Poulain has tallied four goals. First at Vancouver, she potted the only goals in Canada's 2-0 win. Then, more dramatically, in Sochi. A tying goal late in the spectacular game and the winner in overtime. Easily one of the highlights of the games for Canada. Canada kind of stopped for that moment and, and watched those goals happen, even if they only watched for four minutes. It's kind of crazy because she's always there for us and she's always putting in those key goals for us. We wouldn't have won that game without her. We deserved a better fate. It's the best thing I can say. Hockey's a crazy game and things can turn on a dime. And, uh, you know, I think at the end of the day, you've got kids who make plays and they made a couple more plays than we did down the stretch. When I saw my dad, it was just his, bir his birthday just passed and uh, he started crying. I don't see often my dad crying and what he did, I mean, for sure I did. My mom it was just amazing. There was something else people noticed about the player who grew up in Beauceville, just an hour south of Boishatel. Her reaction. She didn't throw her stick or gloves. She didn't even raise her arms over her head. Seriously, I, I'm shivering just thinking about it. I think I just, I couldn't believe it just happened. I couldn't believe the way it happened. It was just a relief. I think the game, how it went, we were losing 2 nothing with three and a half minutes to go. And, the way we came back as a team was just unbelievable. And when it happened, I just turned to the team and just a big breath, just like it took it to the team. And just when I saw the girls running, skating at me, it was just unbelievable. She's a superstar. And when Canada needs her the most, she can simply perform. She understood the, uh, the moment that that was a game the U.S. couldn't have played much better. And uh, for her to be the lucky one, and she probably would have been real happy if any one of her other 18 or 19 teammates had scored that goal. But it fell on her shoulders again. You know, she answered the call. Poulain should be a national hero. Her name should be mentioned in the same breath as Henderson and Crosby. Instead, she lives in relative anonymity. <laughs> She's finishing up her degree in psychology and is captain of the Terriers. It's something the humble 23-year-old is okay with. Those are heroes for sure for Canada, and uh, I'm not part of that, that's for sure. I think uh, my goal was uh, a team effort. There's only really one game to do it in. For her to, to do that uh, and to score both goals twice, uh, pretty special. It's got to be one of the, the best comebacks in Olympic hockey history, and for her to you know, have the puck on her stick and score both those goals. I mean, that's got to be some of the, the mo most clutch goals ever scored in, in hockey history. I was just lucky to be there at the right time. It could have happened to anyone.